I came to you know the Swans um, and you know, being a high draft pick, the coaches put it to me that you know I probably wasn't living up to that. I had a good hard look at myself there, and then uh, the next year I came out and won the best and fairest, and and you know I've missed one final series since I've been here, so I've been fortunate to to be around a lot of good people, a lot of good players. Now Hall's got it. Now McVeigh's got it. He might have done it. He has done it. And to be able to win in 2012 is um, you know the best footy moment that I've had. And... They've done it. What a team. That culture, the bloods. That's what it's all about. A year after losing a child was, um, oh, oh, you know, it was great to to do that, but it's completely different. It didn't you know, take away the pain or anything like that. It was, um, you know, it was a special moment for my wife and our new baby, Lolita, um, you know, to be there on grand final day. And, but it never changed how I thought or made me feel any better, personally. You know, that was kind of a sanctuary out there for me to, you know, to just play. And, um, but you come home to the reality and um, you, know, you, you, know, you cry most nights and all that type of stuff. But uh, you know, they're the challenges that a lot of people have to face in their life and, um, and you know that was my challenge. The best team of the modern era of the last 50 years produces its masterpiece. You go home, you think about it, you dream about it and you know be filthy on yourself but look in the mirror and know that you know you've done it before and you can come back from it and dealt with a lot harder things than you know losing grand finals.